Now, one of the unfortunate things about this game is that <clears throat> you won't see a lot of unique-looking enemies. They're basically most enemies will be re-textured enemies that you've seen before. But there, are, there are still quite a few new enemies we have yet to see. So, don't get too down. Still won't catch the dancing bug. <coughs> that I'm, not that I'm complaining, gives me free attacks. I probably should have checked in with the priest about the EXP. Oh well. <coughs> Always best to get, you know, survey your surroundings before you go on. Alright, since so level 5, let's see how much damage we deal. Still not good enough. <laughs> ah, pitiful monster. That should be enough to kill one of them. There we go. That one boost probably would have been enough. And anyway, onward. I can see there's something guarding the broken door. Which we have to talk to. Yes. Talk to him again. Now, if memory serves, he's not that powerful, so... No, oh, he is pretty potent. Be careful with these creatures, by the way. The ones with the hoods and the hammers. They can increase their tension as well. Hell, some of them even are even able to go straight to a safe state of super high tension, which is the and you do not want to be on the other end of the hammer, or one of their hammers when they go to that state. All bark, no bite. You can fight him, I believe, as much as you want. I'm not going to. Because I don't want to, you know, have to use my <laughs> healing stuff right now. You want to go that way. Talk to this line. Yes. Let's go get the treasure chest. Jockeys! Aren't they cute? Weak as all hell, but they're cute. So they either have 9 HP or 10 HP. <laughs> They're pretty weak. But they appear in packs, so you get a good amount of gold for killing them.
Alright. We get Copper Sword, which is an upgrade for our weapon. So let's do that. See? Good boost, too. Good boost. <laughs> and as you can see, we have a new sword. It was a new sheath, too. <laughs> ah, Skipper, that's what I was talking about. Skippers are annoying. <laughs> Not as annoying as that flame, but... And those mischievous moles are just, eh. They do suck up. I was wondering if they did that. Out of MP. Four to one, not bad. <coughs> Alright then. Lunch time. You probably won't see me use uh, Munchie a lot in battles. <coughs> Unless I know the cheese will be helpful. But, mostly I leave the space for uh, additional herbs. Ooh, leveled up. Evac. Evac's a nice spell. It allows you to instantly leave a dungeon. May his crease become soft hearted. He now learns Whistle. Whistle uh, summons monsters. Now I'm pretty sure you're wondering why that would be useful. Considering at this point in the game, you know, you're pretty weak. But there are some monsters you want to fight. Extra cheese, just in case. I'll probably use it if I come across that horde of Drakis again. And there's a little slime. Talk to him again. Why don't you go down there and get it then? Ugh. Let's see how strong the uh, copper sword is now. I can see these guys. Thirteen, nice. Let's check here for a second. Uh, 19. Or one, 195. We said 1000. I wish. Oh. Uh. <coughs> Let's get rid of those flames first.
Alright, now everybody's trying to take out without slams in one hit, so let's do it. <laughs> and now let's take out the skipper. Accelerate. <coughs> Pretty weak. Let's see here. Uh, nothing else. And now we're at the base of the waterfall. Unfortunately, we still have fights. <laughs> okay. One more hit will do it. And no, unfortunately, there's no way to increase your movement speed on the field out here, so. You have to deal with the relatively slow walking or movement. <coughs> you should be able to see it by now the uh, orb in the waterfall. Get rid of the bubble slime first, you don't want to be poisoned. I'm going to heal before I examine it, though. Anyone that has ever played a quest-oriented quest game knows at the bottom of a dungeon, there's going to be a boss fight. You know, everyone that's ever played an RPG knows that. Okay. Use some of your healing herbs. There we go. Yes. Waterfall. Oh, how long it should be. How many people have gone and come? Ten long years and more. I've waited ten years, I tell you. All the time hoping for the left one. I mean, the right one to come. But enough with the introductions. Now, for the moment of news, <laughs> does this Bristol call <laughs> crystal ball belong to you? <laughs> At last! <laughs> At last we fit mace to mace, you half-wit human! Now I'll teach you a moron! Arrows! <laughs> I mean, a lesson you won't forget. Yeah, he's pretty messed up. <laughs> Alright. Let's fight him. <laughs> 